Mr. Speaker, it's difficult to find the words to describe the horror of what's going on in Rafa. Women and children were burned alive in tents. They were told they were in a safe zone, in a refugee encampment, yet they were burned alive. Isn't Hamas telling people not to leave? For this liberal government to send a message to Netanyahu that what has happened is inexcusable. What will it take for this government to take actions to prevent this genocide from happening? That's an interesting change of position for Jagmeet. Mr. Speaker, even in times of wars, there are rules. And the images coming out of Rafa are horrific, heartbreaking. Our position has been clear on Rafa, and we've been saying it now for weeks. Palestinian civilians do not have any safe space to go. The killing of innocent civilians is completely unacceptable, and the decisions of the International Court of Justice are binding. The level of human suffering is catastrophic, and that's why, Mr. Speaker, we need an immediate ceasefire. The Honourable Member for Burnaby South. The images from Rafa are horrific. Women and children have been burned alive. What will it take for this government to send a clear message to Netanyahu that what he's doing is inexcusable? What is it going to take for this government to finally act to prevent this genocide? The Honourable Minister of Global Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Even in a time of war, there are rules to be followed, and the images coming out of Rafa are horrible. They're heartbreaking. She's saying the exact same thing, but in French. (laughs) And we have been clear now for weeks. Palestinian civilians don't have anywhere to go, and killing innocent civilians is completely unacceptable. The decisions of the International uh, Court of Justice are binding. The level of suffering for civilians is catastrophic, and that is why there must be a ceasefire immediately. I don't know, man. Lots of horrible things happening over there. We should focus on Canada. After nine years of this Liberal NDP Prime Minister, hunger and homelessness are up as one in four Canadians are food insecure. It's because this carbon tax scam leaves Canadians with less money in their pockets, food in their bellies, and fuel in their cars. This Prime Minister and this carbon tax scam are not worth the cost. Conservatives are calling for all federal fuel taxes to be axed this summer, so Canadian families families can save an average of $670. Will this road-raging finance minister stop the road trip wrecking and implement this common-sense conservative ask, yes or no? The Honourable Minister of Finance and Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the only thing the Conservatives believe in is austerity. And the only thing they know how to do is cut, cut, cut. That's why it is no surprise that they would like to cut the carbon rebates that are putting more money back in the pockets of 8 out of 10 Canadians. It is no surprise that they want to cut a national school food program. It's no surprise they want to cut our national early learning and child care plan. Mr. Speaker, they have no real plan, but they're letting the country burn. The Honourable Member yeah, I don't know about that. for Sloan. No doubt we will cut the carbon tax scam that will leave more money in Canadians' pockets. Yeah. 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 Program. That I vote for that. There's no food in it. The only thing these guys have been feeding over the last nine years is the already obese government. What common sense conservative <laughs> governments are going to do is we're going to axe a tax for good. Look at Pierre Smiley. Carbon tax selection so we can show them how it's done anyways. <laughs> Pierre's loving it, eh? He's starting trends in government by calling the Liberal government an obese government. The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is incredibly disappointing to see the misleading information that the Honourable Member actually puts forward. It is very clear, 300 economists, the Parliament, uh, Parliamentary Budget Officer, have said 8 out of 10 Canadian families get more money back. Our, our approach is one that actually addresses the existential threat of climate change, does so in a manner that is actually affordable for Canadians, and to be honest with you, his constituents should be asking him, I'm sure they are, why he campaigned on putting in place a price for pollution in the last election, and now is actually taking such a hypocritical position. Yeah,